Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Tish Marie. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a long overdue update on my breast implants. If you guys are not aware, a little over a year ago, I did have a breast augmentation. I got breast implants, a boob job, whatever you want to call it. I posted a video on here about it. I will link it right up here for you in the cards if you're interested in watching. But so many of you guys asked me a lot of follow-up questions on that video. I don't want to leave you guys hanging any longer. I wanted to make sure I answered all of your questions in a breast implant update video. If you're interested in my update, then make sure you keep watching. Yeah, I got my breast implants in April of 2021. So like I said, a little over a year ago, today is May 30th of 2022. I feel like this is a great time to give you guys an update of some things that I have been experiencing and just letting you guys know how I feel about my results a year in. I am completely healed. I feel like one of the questions that I get the most often is do I still feel like I made a good decision with getting my implants? Do I regret them? Do I love them? And my answer is I feel like I made a great decision. I feel like I went with a great choice as far as my implant size, um, the type of implant that I got. I feel like I made an amazing decision with my doctor, with the surgery center that I went with. I feel like my experience as a whole has been really, really great. Um, I have had quite a few follow-up appointments with my surgeon, well, not with my surgeon, but with the surgery center. I've gone to talk to the nurse quite a few times. I wanna say about three or four times. I was supposed to go again, maybe like five months ago, but I skipped that appointment because honestly, nothing had changed since the last time I have been. I did go with 300 cc's and I feel like that was the perfect choice for me. In my last video, I talked a little bit about me wanting to go with the size 250 when I first decided that I was going to get my implants. And I'm glad that I did not go with 250 because once my implants have like completely settled down and settled in, I feel like 300 was like perfect. If I would have gotten 250, I feel like they would have, they wouldn't have been too small, but they would have been a little smaller than I would have liked. 300 is like the perfect size for me because um, some days my boobs look like really, really small. Like if I'm wearing a t-shirt, an oversized t-shirt, a regular t-shirt, I can also wear kind of like low cut tops or just like a top like this to kind of play them up a little bit and they look a little bit fuller. I just feel like 300 was the perfect size to play them up or just have like a chill look where it doesn't look like I'm trying to do too much, if that makes any sense. Um, another question that I get pretty often is, have I had any issues with my implants? Um, a lot of people talk about breast implant illness and all of that. I have not experienced any issues at all with my implants. I don't have any pain, um, no, no weird random illnesses, no nothing. I haven't experienced anything with my implants. I know there are quite a few people on here that have talked about going through breast implant illness and having to have their implants taken out and all of that. I'm praying that that does not happen to me because that is very serious, but I did have a talk with my surgeon about that when I made my decision and I still feel confident in going forward, obviously, and going ahead and getting my implants. So that's not something that I'm concerned about. If it does happen, then unfortunately, I would just go ahead and get them removed. I don't feel like it would be a big deal so yeah no I don't have any issues at all with my implants I feel perfectly healthy so another question that I get a lot is probably the question that I get the most is do I have sensation in my nipples so in my last video I did tell you guys that at least I think I told you guys that at that time I didn't feel any sensation in my nipples that it was still pretty numb and unfortunately no I did not get the sensation back in my nipples it is very it's honestly kind of weird because I do have I don't know like it's hard to describe um I do have like the tiniest bit of feeling in my left one but literally nothing in my right one I feel absolutely nothing in my right one something could be touching my right nipple and i wouldn't feel it at all as far as my left one though i don't it's kind of weird like if i touch it like i feel a little something but not 
all the way and it doesn't feel pleasurable it's it's a very weird sensation i don't know but it, i don't have the full sensation in my left one if i had to rate it like on a scale i would say i have about maybe three out of ten as far as one being absolutely nothing and ten being i feel like the same it feels the same as it did before surgery i would give it like a three i feel a little something but it is what it is okay so now i'm reading some of the comments under my last video someone asks how long did it take for them to start looking a little more normal also did you use anything to prevent stretch marks so the first part of that question how long did it start taking for them to look a little bit more normal um i would say it probably took me a good six months for my implants to completely settle in to like where they were supposed to be in my last video they were still kind of sitting up a little bit high but now, I don't know if you guys, well, you can tell, but they, they've definitely settled into where they are supposed to be. They're not going to drop any more than they already have. Like I said, it's been a year and a month. They're not dropping any more. And the next part of her question was, did you use anything to prevent stretch marks? Um, I wouldn't say I used anything special. I did purchase bio oil. So I did purchase this bio oil and I literally just got it at Target. And as you can see, I have not used that much of it. You only need a little bit, but this says that it helps to improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks. I honestly did not get any extra stretch marks on my boobs. I did have some previous stretch marks from when my boobs got big when I was pregnant. Well, after I had my son my boobs like got crazy big but i don't have any extra stretch marks from when i got my implants but i did use this oil occasionally i have not been putting it on every day i did not put it on every day right after i got my surgery as far as my incision scars i did use silicone scar sheets I did not use those consistently. I only used them maybe for like a couple of weeks after I took my little incision tape off. Again, I did not use it that often. But what I will say, I did show you guys my scars in my past video. See, in that video, my incision does not look bad at all. Since then, my incision has raised just a little bit and it also got darker. And I feel like that's because I stopped using the silicone scar sheets and I just stopped putting anything on my incisions at all. That wasn't the best choice, but now I am using something new on my incisions. And what I'm using nowadays is the Faded by Topicals. And this is a brightening and clearing serum. This serum, I honestly feel like it has made a big difference in the way my scars look. I haven't been using it for that long. I've only been using this for about three weeks. For the three weeks that I have been using it, I feel like it's made a significant difference in the way that my scars look. It has helped to fade them quite a bit. Okay, someone asked, do you know if you got a nerve block? They did give me like a little cocktail of medicine right before I went back for surgery. But I remember her saying that one of the medicines was to like help to calm me down and everything. Some of it was like painkiller so that I wouldn't have to take painkiller immediately after I got out of surgery. But I don't recall her saying that I got a nerve block. So my answer to that question would be no. Um, another question was in the end were you glad you went with 300 cc's do you think 275 or 250 would have been a better choice as i said before i am very happy that i chose to go with 300 i don't feel like 275 or 250 would have been the best choice for me i literally feel like i went with the perfect size implant with 300 cc so one question that i got is do you lift weights or work out at all with your implants so at this current time, no, I am not working out, but have I worked out since I've had my implants? Yes, I have. And did I lift weights? Yes, I did. Honestly, it didn't feel, it didn't feel any different really when I was lifting weights and it could be because I don't typically do upper body workouts. I literally only do like legs and like butt and all that. I only do like lower body stuff. One of the things that I do use when I was going to the gym was the Smith machine. So there were weights on there and I would have that like on my shoulders 
as I was doing squats. And I mean, my upper body didn't really feel any different than it did before surgery. So I hopefully that answers your question. No, it doesn't feel weird at all. Um, I do also hold kettlebell weights when I do squat sometimes and I don't, it doesn't feel any different. Like when I'm lifting anything above my head, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel weird or different at all. Now, one thing I can tell you guys is I did get on the trampoline with my son. We have a trampoline in our backyard and I did get on there with him one day and as I was jumping up and down, it didn't feel good. It felt really weird. It kind of felt like, it didn't feel like my implants were gonna come out of my body, but it literally felt like I had to hold on to them because it just, it felt really uncomfortable to be jumping up and down on a trampoline. It just, I don't know, it felt really uncomfortable. Like I just had to hold on to my chest because it just, it wasn't a good feeling. All right, so someone in the comments asked, do they shake now? <laughs> So in my last video, I did tell you guys that my implants did not move and yeah, they just they were not moving at all today Do they shake? They do shake a little just a little bit not very much But they do shake just a little bit and I feel like mine don't shake that much because I like I said I did not have any breast tissue to begin with so there's not like breast tissue around my implant you know that would make them like a little bit more that would make them like a little bit more jiggly my breast today is literally all breast implant like I don't have any fatty tissue that doesn't change once you get your implants like you still have what you had before you got the implants and before I had nothing so now I have nothing outside of the implant so they don't shake very much, but they do wiggle just a little bit, so. And the second part of her question is, what advice do you have now looking back? Um, I did kind of touch on this in the last video as well. My main piece of advice would be to do your research. Definitely do your research on your surgery center. Definitely do your research on your doctor. Make sure that it is an accredited doctor. Read all of the reviews that you can. Make sure that you look through all of the pictures. Make sure you look at all of the work, the pictures that the doctor has maybe posted on their website. Check them out on realself.com. Another thing that I would say is just to make sure that you are mentally prepared. Make sure that you are physically prepared. Pretty much, like I said, all of the videos that I had watched prior to my surgery was of people saying that they just bounced back like that and that wasn't the case for me um it took me a few weeks to even begin to feel like myself again to for like the pain to subside it took me like a couple of months for my breast to even start to feel semi-normal so don't let all of the videos that are on youtube telling you oh i went to dinner the next day i felt great i was doing this i was doing that i was up out of the bed i was just back to living my normal life don't let those videos fool you because just because that's their experience does not mean that it's going to be your experience i had quite a few people comment under my last video telling me that they felt kind of tricked because they watched those videos and that was not their experience. Their experience was kind of the same as mine. Like they were in pain for a few weeks and they're wondering when they're going to start feeling better. So yeah, I would just say be prepared. I don't wanna say be prepared for the worst, but I would definitely say don't go into it thinking that you're going to be 100% the next day or even the next week or even the next month because that just might not be your experience. So yeah, just make sure that you are mentally prepared. So another question that I have been asked is do I plan on getting any more surgeries? So before I answer that question, I feel like a common misconception around surgery, cosmetic surgery in general, is that people are not happy with themselves or people don't love themselves and that people that get surgery are just addicted to plastic surgery and I don't feel like that's the case with everybody. Now my answer to the question, do I plan on getting more surgeries is no, I do not. From the beginning, breast implants were literally the only surgery that I ever wanted, that I ever even considered. My breasts were literally like the only thing that I was really insecure about on my body. So no, I, I see no reason to go under the knife again. First of all, I am not a fan of going under the knife. I, it, it, it was, it, 
no just no like y'all saw my experience in that last video i it was just it is not for me um would i get my breast implants all over again say yes i would because i do love my results like i feel like my results are phenomenal but i do not plan to get any more surgeries girl i am one and done now as far as getting my implants replaced when the time comes i feel like that's just something that i have to consider i already knew that going into it i want to say like most people will say that you have to get them replaced every 10 years my surgeon told me that it's not every 10 years for everybody some people go 15 years some people go every 20 years and then they get them replaced so i think it all depends on you and your body if i don't have to get my implants replaced for 20 years i mean i won't be super old but i'll be pretty old by then and who's to say how i'll be feeling if i even want to get my implants replaced i may want to just get them completely taken out and that be that i would just have to wait until the time comes to see if i do want to get my implants replaced or not all right so the last thing that i am going to talk about is rippling i feel like that's a question that i have not gotten very often but i feel like it's something that you guys need to know about because it wasn't really something that i asked my surgeon and it wasn't even something that really crossed my mind i don't know if it's because i just didn't care or if i just hadn't really thought about it but before i even get into the rippling i am going to let you guys know that i am 5'1 i barely weigh 100 pounds and like i said i didn't have any breast tissue going into this so my boobs are just all implant and i do have rippling when i have on a bra and you can see my cleavage you don't see any rippling at all no rippling but it's when i take off my bra and like i move a certain way you can kind of see rippling you can kind of see it on the top like you usually you can kind of see it like here when i don't have on a bra and i'm moving a certain way it doesn't look terrible and i feel like it's probably because my implant is on the smaller side but i can see it like i said it's not bad but i can see it and i know that it's there it's not really bothersome because it's not like i'm like walking around with my boobs just hanging out but yeah it's it's something that you should take into consideration if you don't have a lot of tissue to cover your implant and i can also feel it like even if i don't see it when i'm moving certain ways if i like feel under it I can definitely feel all of the rippling. I can feel all of the implant. I can feel all of it. I mean, that's something that I feel like that's something that you should know if you're thinking about getting implants and if rippling is something that you're concerned about, there is a possibility that you can see the rippling in your implant in your boob. So that is it. Hopefully I answer all of you guys questions. If I did not make sure you leave your question down below in the comments section. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. I'm happy to help if there is something that I can answer or help you guys with. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the love that you guys showed me on the previous video. And if you are not already subscribed, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. And if you like these types of videos, then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.